December 2019 birthed a new strain of a contagious virus, which soon became known as the coronavirus. This virus progressively affected the people of the world across continents, countries, and small island states. Like many other countries, St. Lucia became a victim to this perilous disease that has taken the lives of thousands of people worldwide whilst wreaking havoc on the economies of the world. The pandemic has led to unprecedented job losses, disrupted education systems, strained healthcare systems, and disrupted social life with lockdowns, curfews, and other stringent measures, all aimed at containing the virus. In response to the pandemic, the government of St. Lucia and many stakeholders joined forces to facilitate the development of various policies and strategies to help protect the citizens of St. Lucia and gain control of the spread of the virus. As we continue to face the COVID-19 crisis, employees worldwide, including our very own here in St. Lucia, are having to face a new normal. This includes working from home, flexi time work arrangements, implementing new safety measures, as well as managing their own family needs. Now more than ever before, we must be prepared to take steps beyond what we are normally required to do. The public service here in St. Lucia rose to the challenge in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our public servants have been thrust into the spotlight, helping to build greater awareness of the critical role they play in our everyday life, particularly during times of severe crisis. Our frontline workers, our doctors, nurses, customs and immigration officers, police officers, fire officers, teachers, sanitation workers, social welfare officers, and many more have gone above and beyond the call of duty to keep us safe. One such agency within the wider public service is the Department of Finance. The staff within the Department of Finance worked arduously to ensure continuity in the delivery of our services. The employees adapted to the changing environment very quickly, and our services continue to be accessible without interruption, giving all the necessary support to the government and providing strategic and innovative policy advice whilst implementing the decisions of the government and meeting the needs of the public at large. The excellent foresight and capable management by the team at the Department of Finance created an intuitive working environment for decision making, giving impetus to a number of new initiatives. The government of St. Lucia and by extension the Department of Finance is pleased with the level of support provided by you, the heads of department, and your various team members for providing real benefit to the people we serve. I wish to thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you for your incredible commitment, commitment, not only to your team members and the organization, but also to the government and people of St. Lucia. Kindly accept our heartfelt gratitude to you, the finance administration team, for your unwavering support in ensuring that staff members were well equipped with the necessary health and safety measures supplies to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Also to our officers in the various departments who work tirelessly behind the scenes day and night to provide guidance on policy matters, I wish to say thank you. Your hard work, commitment, perseverance and dedication have not gone unnoticed. I am truly honored to serve alongside such a dedicated team. It has been a very challenging period for the government and people of St. Lucia. However, given your level of commitment, reliability, hard work and dedication, the country will continue to progress despite the COVID-19 pandemic. 
I would like to take this opportunity to express my profound gratitude for those working within the healthcare sector. You are all on the front line, working long hours and under extreme conditions. You have shown heroic efforts in being able to care for your fellow solutions. Thanks to you and your team for your hard work and dedication during this trying time. You are the real superheroes. Thanks to all the essential workers who continue to provide services during this time. There are no words that can adequately express our gratitude for all that you do and all that you have done. You have worked hard to keep us safe, healthy, and strong. For this, we are eternally grateful. The entire public service deserves to be celebrated year round. However, today is set aside to focus on your contribution to the people and government of St. Lucia. I wish to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication and wish you a happy and blessed public service day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.